What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. Guys, I'm going back to uh, Sol 58 of Opportunity Rover. Now, if you guys, if you go back and check this thing out, now I got this from Midnight Planets. Now, if you check this picture out, this is this is pretty cool. Um, let's do this. This is the picture itself, and you can see it's right here from the front has cam, I guess it is, but... Uh, excuse me, March 23rd, 2004, and 4.53 p.m., so... All right. So I'm looking at this picture, and I'm going, wow, that's pretty neat. Um, now, keep in mind, first question came to my mind. I'm going, hold on a minute. Now, I don't know if you guys thought of this yourselves, but look, you can see where this thing just got out, and it looks like it come off the other side of this. I'm going to use the, it's like the, what do you call it? I'm going to call it a lander, per se, but it's not. It's just basically, uh, you know, the, basically the uh, landing balloon, I guess it was, that it come off of once it, you know, uh, deflated and opened up and everything else. But, um once this thing got off, it looks like it come off here and just kind of circled around a little bit. And but it went, it looks like it went in this direction, came out, circled around, went this direction, came back over here. It might have went here first, but it looks like it might have went over here just a little bit. See that right there? And it looks like it went to here and then stopped. Now I'm, I'm a little puzzled here, guys, because keep in mind this is Sol 58. Hold on a minute, 58 days to come here. So. It had me thinking. I'm going, all right, well, I know these things don't move fast, but you're not telling me this isn't going to move only this far um, in 58, well, 59 days here on Earth, but 59, uh, 58 days in, uh, no, Sol's rather, on Mars. So, um, And you can see the rover sitting here because you, you guys know that this thing can jockey to the left by or sideways. It can actually crawl to the side like a crab. Um, and these wheels, instead of being this way, can actually go this way, just turn like this and just jockey to the side. So it would be great if you could do that with your own car if it was uh, if you were parallel parking, right? Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so anyway, I, I got a little curious about this picture because, you know, check this out. I'm looking at this and I'm going, why does it look blurry around here? Well, there's a good reason. And again, this is when this thing just touched down. So I decided to jump into this picture. You know how I am, guys. This is, you know, I just like to jump into these. Um... And the more you get into this picture, I'm just going to really zoom in. And just it just looks like, well, okay, it is pixelated. We are moving into a kind of a low-res picture. It makes sense. But it's really blurry around it. Hmm. So let me back back up. This is at 300%. I'm just going to hit... Yeah, we'll go back a little bit more. All right. So I'm going to hit the first snapshot. We're going to try to brighten this up a little bit and clear and just blur it so we can get rid of some of the any pixelations or anything like that. Okay. All right, so now you can see that the actual uh, wheel marks now where this thing has gone. And you can see it went up to this rock. Um, and just kind of looked like it went over to here a little bit. It looks like it stopped right around here. Okay. And it kind of just, I'm going to use the term stretching its legs, so to speak. Um, you know, because when they do land, you know, it'll do its own diagnostics. And, you know, NASA takes a look at, you know, have the rover look at itself, make sure it's not broken or anything. Like that. So I get that, the first 58 days. Okay. Um, but I was a little puzzled. I'm starting to see things pop out around here. Now watch this. Make it a little bit darker. Okay. Doesn't look like a whole lot. But I'm starting to see shapes here laying in here. There's something in the back here. There's something over here. I'm, see, I'm just seeing lines. I'm not seeing much of anything here, guys. No, don't get me wrong. But I'm seeing, like, I'm looking at the, all these white areas. I'm saying, what is all this? There's something back here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Because it is really hard to see it. But it looks like some kind of weird block. I don't know if it's block, cylindrical, whatever it is. But there's some kind of circle right there. And smack dab in the middle of it. Okay. And so anyway, I'm looking at this thing, and I'm going, okay. So we, you can see the difference where we, we actually cleared this up a little bit. See how it's like all kind of grainy? So by doing this brighten up, it, it just smoothed out the lines here and made it a little bit better, you know, as far as that goes. But anyway, so I'm looking at this, and I'm going, wait a minute. I'm seeing things starting to appear here, and I'm not surprised. Let's do it. A, let's go over here a bit more. Whoa, hold on a minute. Look at this stuff all the way around this rover. Well, the, actually, the lander. We're going to call it the lander for argument. It's not actually a lander, but it's what it come down on. Um, or in, whichever you prefer. Um, I'm starting to see all kinds of things laying around this thing. Check this out. This weird thing right here looks like this weird piping, but it goes all the way to here, comes back over, comes up, and like Branch of has these two uh, bright things right here. I'm starting to see one, some kind of squared off object here, and I'm starting to see a few things here and there. Look at this white object here. Just these things laying around, they look like they even have funkier shapes to them. Look at this. Look at the way these things are shaped and stuff coming up. Nice round radius on this thing. I, I couldn't tell you what this thing is, of course. And it's just whatever I say it is could be pure speculation because I couldn't tell you. Um, okay. 
Let's see if we can get this stuff to pop just a hair bit better because you're not going to be able to really make out anything definitive here, you know, but we're going to try to brighten this up a little bit right here. But look at this. There's like fingers coming off this thing. And I don't mean like people's fingers or human fingers. I'm just saying, look, it looks like one, two pieces coming off. This looks kind of square at the end. It looks like multiple parts laying all over the place. Here's that weird square thing or rectangular box I, I said earlier. It's got this round circle in it. There's things in the background here, guys, that I don't know what they are, but look at this. It comes down, goes up here, goes around, comes down this side. And I'm starting to see what looks like... Look at this. like a square pot here. I don't know if this is something here that they totally... You can see what they've really tried to eradicate this pot here. But there's something that looks like it's got a 90-degree angle right there. Something right here. It looks like it's kind of like oval, real narrow uh, oval opening kind of thing. Another one here, like platform. See this? This, to me, I believe is buildings or something, and they just really just manipulated this. But, uh, again, it's just speculation. But let me just see if we can go here a bit more on this. Okay, so what I try to do is dock it up, and I don't care about the white areas now, because that doesn't, we already know what this is. As far as this stuff, we know what this is, part of the landing apparatus. Um, okay, but look at the stuff starting to pop into this now. See that? This is before this thing even walked or crawled away from the this uh, the landing spot. Um, look at this all right here. Look at this. It doesn't look like simple rocks to me. It's all there is to it. Check that out. There's something here with a flat piece of whatever coming out of this with a nice corner to it. See it? And it's just like, just look at the little parts laying around. This is not simple JPEG artifacts or anything like that. You can see stuff here in this picture, like shapes. Things that just simply don't make sense. This is all white here, and I believe this is all white, but they just doctrine it up, and you just see little peaks of it coming out, and it's one, two, three, and like I said, it has this 90-degree angle. I don't know what that is, but something round. You can just just look faintly. This thing's laying all over this ground. I think that's pretty neat, um, but sneaky on their part, of course. Um, okay, let's go a step further, because I do invert this too, guys. Now, let me just see what we got here. Now, I blurred this up just a hair bit, not a whole lot, to see if we can get smooth out the lines, get rid of any kind of pixelations if we can, um, and anything to make everything smoother. Um, so, yeah. All right, back to this side here. And you can just see that it looks like this... It's it's definitely artificial. It's not... This is not, uh, you know, naturally made or naturally occurring. Um, okay, I'm going to back out just a little bit so we can get an overall perspective. I see a bunch of things here. Now, what these things are, I couldn't tell you, but let us let me brighten it up a lot so we can actually see a little bit better into this area. Look at the stuff laying around here. Like, like I don't know. They're just parts, things we can't tell because they just really try to scribble everything out. And like I said, you can see this, whatever is white here, is clearly part of this. Whatever that is, it looks like it's one big piece. Now, I don't know if it's several. I couldn't tell you. But it looks like this weird box with a circle in there. And just look at this right here. Yeah, there we go, a little doghouse. <laughs> but um, you can clearly see there's objects here. And they look intelligently made. So, you know what I mean? This is this is what I'm talking about. This is from the get-go. This thing barely crawled away from its landing spot. And look at the junk that it's... Uh, look at the stuff it's already seen. So, this is my whole point of it. Now, let me see. I think I, in, I inverted it here to try to get a better perspective to see if we can bring out this. Now, this piece, whatever this is, is still there. See that? The two bright spots are now dark because we're inverted. 90 degree angle. And you can see all of these other parts laying around, branching off in different directions and so on and so forth. Now, this I don't believe is the the correct way, meaning this is, you know, this is not the real picture. They didn't flip it around purposely, so this is not the real picture. Um, but either way, it's, it's strange. Because I'm going to show you something in a minute. Now, let me throw some color in it so you guys check this out now. Just pan over it a little bit. From the left to right, check this out. This is from the get-go, guys. This is right... Oh, my God. This thing hasn't even crawled out of this small crater area, and this thing's in it. What I'm trying to figure out is a couple of things. Now, one thing I want to point out, I mean, these guys knew what they were doing. Pre-designated, knew exactly what they're doing. Watch this. Just going to go back to the other picture and then just use the first snapshot. Now, I just showed you the stuff that's in this picture. Notice how there's no other wheel marks going anywhere else here? It can't. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So this may be wheel marks right here, and it stops right here. It appears to be marks, but I'm not entirely sure. But you can see where it come up over here, 
circle around right here. It might have just come off this other side of this landing spot, and that was it. It avoided everything here. Why did it take 58 days? Because it was eyeballing whatever the hell's sitting here. Um, look at this. You can see all of the spaces that this thing wheeled around and moved around. It never went into all of this stuff. There's a reason for it. <laughs> I mean, it, it simply cannot ride over this stuff or drive over it. So there you go. <laughs> but what I'm trying to figure out, this is a question I hope you guys maybe can answer this because I'm a little puzzled. What? How do they get this thing to land in this area without landing on anything else? Or did they? But if it landed on something very large, you'd think this thing would have a problem getting off of this landing spot. It would have a problem getting off of this thing. Maybe the ramp wouldn't be right, or this thing wouldn't be able to get off here correctly. I don't know. But whatever they did, they landed this thing perfect. I'll tell you that right now. They knew exactly where they were going to land this lander. Or this, you know, what do you call it here? This uh, landing apparatus, we'll call it. Because uh, I believe these came down in balloons. They had like a balloon surrounding them, and then it drops, and then it just opens up. And uh, basically, one of the flaps is the ramp. Um, you know, but this is just crazy. Everywhere this thing went, it never went into this garbage around it. Because it can't. So, anyway, guys, give me your take on what do you guys think is going on here? I mean, I see... I mean, it's it's clear. There's, they're definitely hiding something. Look at it all. It's all completely either grayscaled or just blurred out, period. There is no... See, again, this is to try to make it look all flat. Nothing there. You know, just go about your business. But as the more you get into this... Heck, you can see it right here. Right? Watch this. See how, like, really, really, this is just faded out. But it is there. You can see this other piece here. But you'd be none the wiser. And that's the whole idea of it. This thing, it was predestined. They, they knew exactly where it was going, when they landed it. And this is absolute proof of it. Right from the get-go, the second this thing landed, 58 solves later, 59 days later here on Earth. Um, yeah. And just to brighten up a little bit so you can see these parts a little bit better, I'm going to zoom way in. Go from right to left this time. See, like I said, it looks like this weird something right here, and then it goes to the back. And it appears like there's something right here when they really brushed this out or did something to it. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to pan around a little bit. See, now that I look at this now, it looks like some kind of square piece with something maybe popping out of it. Got this 90 degree angle, something right there. Looks like just different parts. I don't, I don't know, guys. Tell me what you think this is. I mean, there's clearly some shapes in here that are just not rocks. I mean, that's just as simple as can be. So let's go a little bit darker back to the dock area, and then we'll go from left to right again. And of course, you guys can pause this any way you want. Tell me what you think, because your comments are always welcome, and I want to hear what you guys got to say. But... This, again, this thing barely ro drove away from this landing spot, and you can see what the heck it already encountered. I mean, it's just crazy. It was already into this crap the second it landed. And, of course, I believe the opportunity was landed at a totally different spot of Mars. I mean, it wasn't like, you know, 100 feet away from each other. This is totally, I think, almost on the opposite uh, sides of, uh, of Mars. But you guys tell me. Tell me what you think. I, th I figured I'd do this one real quick. I just happened to stumble on this one here, and I'm saying, you know what? Let me just check this thing out, because I have a feeling they knew what they were getting into. Well, we already know this anyway, but uh, for all the newcomers there, I've been saying this from day one. They already had these predestined spots. They already knew exactly where they were going to land these things. They already knew from day one. They knew it from satellites, orbiters, um, you know, you know, anything. I mean, it just doesn't matter. They knew exactly where they were going to land these things, and they just, there they are. And you can see just by looking around this this uh, landing apparatus, you can see all of this stuff around here, and you can see where the rover didn't go. It clearly could not go around this, because there's all a bunch of stuff laying, laying right on the ground. It's even all in the back. All of this white stuff here, this is all parts of something. They just make it look like simple rocks. If you look at it, well, it's just shiny rocks in the background, nothing more. Right, no depth. They're trying to mess with your depth perception. There's nothing there to see. It's a flat ground with a few, maybe, flat rocks laying around. Not true, bull. Here you go. It's right there. Anyway, guys, just wanted to show you that, share that with you. Let me know what you guys think. Crazy stuff here. Um, I'm not surprised. It is what it is. Again, here's the picture you can get. I'll give you the link. As always, you guys know that. That's how we roll. This is from Midnight Planets. Um, and you could probably look this up on uh, NASA anyway and just find this anyway. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. You know, um, 
like I said, uh, you know, this is we're going to try to go back to the older ones as well as the new ones and uh, just see what we can find. I mean, that's all there is to it. I love to dig, and um, that's what it's all about. I like bringing this stuff to you guys because I think it's just awesome to find this stuff. I mean, some people are like, eh, they're getting discouraged. Like, yeah, well, we already know that they're lying to us. Okay. Why would you stop looking? <laughs> I mean, I want to bring up more and more stuff. I want to see exactly what they're hiding. Because if this is, because I believe 99% that we are on Mars, I mean, there's always this weird trickery thing. I mean, we already know they're fooling us and tricking us. But um, as far as, you know, some people say, well, I don't think that's quite Mars. Yeah, it is. Um, because you know there's a lot of nations around the world, a lot of countries would love to say, oh, they're full of it. We've looked at it with our telescopes or whatever, and they're not on Mars. They're full of crap. Uh, so you know they could probably see their, our, you know, MRO or the, uh, uh, yeah, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiters and all the other orbiters going around this thing. They, they know. They're not stupid. They'd be the first one to be the blowing the whistle on NASA and JPL and whoever else has got their hands in this operation. So anyway, guys, you know how that is. But anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go for now. You guys have a good 4th of July. I hope you don't, you are. You're at the fireworks enjoying this. You guys have a good night, and I will see you next pick.